CDC finally states the obvious. COVID is no longer as serious as it was a few years ago. It, they say treated like a cold and a flu. It's a part of the umbrella of all respiratory viruses now. Now we can finally talk about it. So uh, this actually came from the CDC website updated a few days ago. Basically stating that uh, 2023-24 fall and winter virus season, four years since the start of COVID-19, provided ongoing evidence of the changing face of respiratory diseases. Uh, COVID-19 remains a public threat, but it's no longer the emergency that it once was. Okay? And, th and this is due to several reasons, which I'm about to list. One, due to the effectiveness of protective tools and high degree of population immunity, there are now fewer hospitalizations and deaths due to COVID-19. What does that mean to you guys? Basically, due to the protocol that was enlisted over the years, not much people are hospitalized for COVID and they're not dying from it. Um, the vaccinations did help. I'm sorry to say they did help. Um, whether you got vaccinated or not, the overall immunity assisted the community and ultimately helped with lower mortality or deaths from COVID. And also doing the preventative measures to prevent spreading, like wearing the mask, okay? Um, so those are the main things, right? So what does that mean for me as a primary care doctor, right? Because I am a doctor at the end of the day. We saw this from a year ago. Um, CDC, you know, they're the big guys, so they can't officially state until they have all the data. But we saw the trend changing already. Like, we saw people not really getting COVID as much as they got cold and flu. That's what we're seeing now. So we're seeing the shift. Hence why, you know, everybody's been so focused on COVID, COVID, COVID. Um, that they neglected the, the the consistent wave of flu and cold season that's been happening prior to COVID and still going on and it's going to continue to go on. So um, if this is a PSA to everybody who's listening, listen closely. Most doctors can't tell the difference between COVID, common cold, and flu. That's the real honest unless you're doing a straight test, a specific test to test it. But the treatment essentially is the same and how to prevent it is the same. Keep wearing your mask, people. All right. Just don't toss it to the wind just because, oh, yeah, COVID slowing down. No. And that's how we got into increased spikes of hospitalization due to the other respiratory diseases that are still around. So wear your mask, wash your hands. OK. And if you are having symptoms, protect yourself and your loved ones. Don't talk directly in their face, don't sneeze or cough in each other's face. These are things that you would think would be otherwise common, but you need to say this, right? Because that's how we spread this. And get your flu vaccines. If you are, have any medical condition, comorbidity that you're living with, get the vaccinations that you need. Specifically, I'm talking to the people who have diabetes, hypertension. If you're over 65, get your flu vaccine, get your pneumococcal vaccine, all right? Get those necessary things. If you have a, a immune system issue like sickle cell disease, get your vaccinations. You are putting yourself at risk every time we get into this cold and flu season, which literally starts from September into spring. We're not out of the woods yet, so you need to protect yourself, okay? If you can just do these simple things, you can get through this comfortably, meaning you don't have to go to the hospital. And if you get COVID, you got COVID, all right? CDC states you don't even have to stay isolated for five days anymore, okay? If you're symptom-free, no fever for 24 hours, you're good. Back to work. Yes. So, it looks like the wave is finally coming to an end. But we still must stay vigilant and protect ourselves and protect our brethren in the community, all right? Because it's that's how we were able to get through this, all right? Um, together. So, let's continue that wave moving forward, all right? Let's talk to Jacobs here, Body Time Health and Wellness. Let me know if this helps. Health is wealth.